Hello everyone! In this video, we will calculate the species vapor pressure together using Excel. This requires a special tips on Excel that is to copy absolute value of a particular cell. Let's get started. I just pull out this random species as Telder High and Astron from the PSP textbook. The Antoine equation are given as well as the Antoine constant. This is the S child I and this is the Astron. Now the vapor pressure of the species is the log scale of this expression. So we'll have to raise the power to the tenth to obtain the vapor pressure. Now the vapor pressure is also known as the saturation pressure. So sometimes you will see PSAT instead of PVAP. Now the temperature range is from 0 to 30 degrees Celsius. And they are in the range for both Elstaldehyde and Aston. So we can use this constant to calculate the vapor pressure. It's A minus B over T in degrees Celsius plus C. A is now notice that I already label one is for L star high and two is for Aston. So P set one is for L star high. A minus B divided by degrees Celsius plus C. There we go. Correct that. Well, if you jack all the way, you will notice that some value is not correct because this only copy the first one and then go all the way down this column. But we don't want that. We want A, B, and C to be constant. To do that, we can simply add the dollar symbol from your keyboard to the Antoine constant that is right before and after the letter for the column. This means that we take the absolute value of column B, row 3. This is the constant A. And do the same to constant B, that is row 3 and column C. Put the dollar symbol before and after column letter. You have to keep track of every letter because the column A, row 7, is the temperature. We don't need the absolute value of this one. Otherwise, you only calculate 0 degree. So skip that. And column D, row 3, is the constant. And we need a constant to be in absolute value. Right? Press Enter. Now you will have the absolute value for the Antoine constant of the species. Now you can drag all the way down to 30 degrees Celsius and click the random one, let's say 4 degrees Celsius. And you see you only calculate at 4 degrees, so we have absolute value of Antoine constant, but the variable of temperature is changing. Now do the same thing to Aston. There you go. Keep in mind that using this equation to calculate the saturated pressure, you will have the units mmHg. If you want to convert to kilopascal or bar, you have to use the conversion factor. If you have any question, please leave me a comment below. Thank you for watching. <laughs>